sealing an historic moment for Mexico. President Enrique Peña Nieto signs a bill ending the 75-year-old state oil monopoly. The aim, to attract foreign capital and expertise to exploit hard-to-reach reserves. This will allow Mexico to generate more energy, Peña Nieto told CNN recently. It will make it more efficient and will increase the competitiveness of our country. In recognition of this and other ambitious reforms, Mexico this month became only the second country in Latin America to receive an A-grade credit rating from Moody's. According to the government, the energy reform alone will add two and a half million jobs by 2025. It's a reform being closely watched north of the border as well. Everyone who had come over here illegally looking for a job to take care of their family has gone back home. And uh, so it's a, it's a really fascinating change of immigration policy. Illegal immigration has already been declining. The Pew Institute estimates net migration from Mexico is now at zero or less. This is the town of Atlisco, about a two-hour drive from Mexico City. Since the 1980s, it's seen many of its residents leave the country. Most people here have a relative who lives in the United States. In the square, there is a generally positive mood towards the energy law. It's going to have a big economic impact, this student says. It's a great initiative from the president. But some are still skeptical. It's good for rich people, this woman says, but for people with less resources, it's just lies. You see it already with small businesses. They have to pay more tax. Atlisco's mayor says the number of migrants has already fallen dramatically, from 2,000 a year to about 200. He says the energy law will accelerate that trend. Atlisco is going to be one of the first places that will feel the transformation, he says. Job creation will considerably reduce migration. But some analysts say it's not just the shift in energy policy at work. It was NAFTA that was implemented 20 years ago, finally having the impact that we were hoping for in Mexico. It's the U.S. economy, which has downturned. It's increased border security. So there are a number of factors driving these changes in immigration. But all of them added up mean that Mexico is slowly becoming not a sending country to the United States. Mexico's reforms have certainly sparked renewed optimism in the country after a year of slow growth. Residents of Atlisco may have to wait to see the real benefits. Nick Parker, CNN, Atlisco, Mexico.